I'll explain about the drive recorder function. With the drive recorder function, you can save the variable and device values at a trouble occurrence. The camera image if the camera input unit KVCA02 is attached. Event and error histories, and the project used at the time of event and error occurrence. You can play back this data in the replay mode of KV Studio. You can leave all information regarding occurrence of the trouble, allowing you to analyze the causes of troubles later without debugging beside the system. In addition, this operation record can be saved in the SD card of the CPU unit or the CPU memory. It is recommended to use an SD card for saving the data to avoid failing to save due to insufficient capacity of the CPU memory at the time of debugging, causing no data to analyze for causes of troubles. I will explain about the timing to save the operation record. The operation record can be automatically saved when the system is stopped by setting the trigger. There are two types of triggers, which allow operation stops of two patterns can be checked. One is the pattern which an alarm occurs at the time of stopping. In this case, use a trigger called before and after file save trigger. You can save the operation records before and after the alarm occurrence. It is available by setting the save trigger for the alarm occurrence. You can also save the data before the alarm occurrence, allowing you to analyze the cause of the alarm. Another one is the stop without alarm. In this case, use a trigger called Start Relay. Set the signal indicating a start of the system cycle. When the cycle starts, the Start Relay turns on, record the cycle data. When the next start relay turns on, you can judge that the previous cycle finished normally. Delete the previous data and record the data of next cycle. In the same way, when the next start relay turns on, delete the data of cycle which manufacturing finished and start recording the data of next cycle. If stop without alarm occurs, the next start relay does not turn on. Therefore, the data before the stop without alarm is left without deleting. When the operator notices that the stop without alarm occurred, the operator turns on the save trigger. This saves the record obtained at the time of stop without alarm for the section which remained without being deleted. The save trigger can be operated manually from the HMI or can be automatically saved by the timeout from the cycle start signal. You can automatically save the data at the time of trouble by using the trigger. The operation record also can be saved manually. The first method is to save from KV Studio. When KV Studio is set to the monitor mode, this dialog is displayed. In case any abnormal condition occurs while debugging the system by using KV Studio, click this REC button. You can save the operation to that point, allowing you to play the recorded data in the replay mode for debugging. You don't have to reproduce the trouble again and again in front of the system. The second method is to save from HMI. When the operator notices any abnormal condition and presses the HMI button, the operating condition up to that point can be saved as the operation record. Therefore, the data at occurrence of abnormality can be validated without waiting for reproducing. When creating a save button to HMI, create a CR5600 button which turns on the control relay. Now, I will explain how to use the replay mode of KV Studio by using an example of saving method with this REC button. This is the method to set the drive recorder functions in KV Studio. Double click this menu of KV Studio. Then, the setting dialog is displayed. For this time, use the trigger of before and after file save trigger. Set the collection time before trigger and after trigger. For this time, I used 18 seconds and 2 seconds which are the defaults. 
If you know the trigger which turns on at the time of abnormal condition, set the saving trigger here. You can also save the data by pressing the KV Studio REC button without setting the saving trigger. As you see, set only time and click OK. For the variables and devices object of collecting, the variables and devices used in KV Studio are automatically registered. You can use the driver recorder function just by setting the collection time before trigger and the collection time after trigger. Now, let's transfer this setting to the PLC. When the transfer completes and KV Studio is set to the monitor mode, this dialog is displayed. Say a trouble just occurred in the system, press this REC button. The monitor screen starts, and the condition is saving. Saving the operation record completed. Now, read the saved operation record and shift KV Studio to the replay mode. When reading the operation record, click this button in the menu. To read the operation record saved in the CPU unit, select here. Select the operation record just saved and set the folder in the PC to be saved and click OK. When reading completes, KV Studio automatically shifts to the replay mode. In the replay mode, it displays the ladder program, event error history, and the recorded camera images if the camera input unit called KVCA02 is attached. When playing the saved operation record, Move the play bar to the beginning and click the play button. You can replay the variable data by using the project used at the time of saving as if you are actually monitoring the PLC. Press the pause button and click this button. Please watch here. As you see, you can scan forward one by one or scan backward one by one by clicking this button. In addition, the camera movie can be synchronized and replayed by linking to the ladder. The replay mode is one of the modes in KV Studio. Functions used in the monitor mode can also be used in the replay mode. Select the ladder program, then select the real-time chart monitor from the right-click menu. As you see, you can also use the real-time chart monitor. Please see the corresponding movie for the method to use the real-time chart monitor.